Ready? What? Ready? Let's go. Are you ready? Ready for what? To go move the fish. Oh, I'm so tired. I just wanted to take a break. Really? Are you serious? It's, it's filming already? Oh my god, yes! Alright guys. Alright guys. Sorry about that. Just resting a little bit. So, today, um, I have to move a bunch of rays around, um, making space for new fish that's coming in later on tonight. So, I want to show you guys um, how I move the rays around. You've seen it before in some videos here and there, but today it's I'm moving a lot of fish, like from here to there, there to there, there to there. Just a lot of juggling around, all right? So, just follow me and uh, we will start. Let's, uh, let's go this way. Go first. Huh? You go first. Oh, okay. Okay, so... All right, come. All right, you know what? Let's put up the ladder first. So, we're going to move these guys here. Come on, can they see? Yes. Okay, we're going to move these guys here. And these guys down there. They're at about maturity size. They probably could have started breeding already, like a couple months ago. But I like to put a little bit more age onto them and a little bit more size onto them before I do start the breeding process. So these guys are gonna go there in the tank where I changed the liner. I changed the liner maybe a couple months ago. And uh, so we'll move that there first. That's step one. And uh, I haven't fed them yet today because uh, I don't like to um, move fish that I fed already. Um, it's better for them, especially going into a new tank if they have to make slight adjustments and whatnot, I think it's better in general for the fish. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the one up top first. It's a smaller one. Should I clip their spines or just put them in? Up to you. Up to me. You always <laughs> you always have something to say about the way I do things, so this time I ask you, and now you say up to me, really? Yeah. Okay, come on, come closer. Be careful. I know. When moving, oh, hold on. Let me focus on what I'm doing first. He don't want to go. I know this net is too small. Oh. Pearls are are known to freak out, so you gotta be very careful with them. They do like to use their tail to defend, so you want to keep your distance. Come on, stupid. You're going to a much bigger home. You say you're that. Such a hard time. Ah. See, you gotta get under their disc first. Then you can get up. See, there we go. You go in. Oh, be careful. How nice is that? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. This is a golden albino pearl. And I would say, what? It's a good 14 inches. Look at that beautiful. All right. Off to your new home. Go ahead. Gently. Away you go. Look at that. Gliding away. It's never seen a tank that big in its entire life. <laughs> Alright, now moving on to the next, next one. Yeah, the bottom one. Alright, so let me take... Whoa! It's kind of scared. Scared, yes. It's a little bit tight here. So like what I was saying before, pearls, their personalities are a little bit more sporadic. Um, they tend to freak out and they will defend by whipping their tail. Um, so I'm sure you guys will see what I'm doing this. So I gotta be really careful. You can come closer. This net is a little too long. Come on, get in there. There we go. You say this second hand ready. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my goodness. I knew that was too easy. Now she don't want to go. Oh, 
Come on, baby, get in. The problem is I can't control the net because it's hitting the top of the tank. There you go. First one we moved was a female. I mean, it was a male. This is a female, and uh, this is also a genetic carrier of that golden albino gene. Come on, take it easy. Here you go. You're free. All right. Okay. Next. Next. Now we're on to the last one here. And this is the biggest one out of the three. Hopefully she doesn't give me a hard time. She's pretty big. She's probably bigger than this container. And uh, if she, oh, 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 stay in there, please. Stay in there, stay in there. Stay in there. Oh, I see Ah, uh, yeah. I gotta watch out because her tail is long enough to reach my hand. Going. 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 In, in, baby, in. I know. What I'm watching out for, if she decides to whip her tail up, I'm going to get hit. This stupid neck. Oh, my goodness. This neck is pissing me off. It's going crazy now. Now I can do it. Watch. Yeah. See, look, I can get under her disc and then now slide underneath her. And then she's just going to go right in. See? See, now I can control it. Before I couldn't control it because the net kept hitting the top. Yeah, but now you have to watch out her tail. I know, I know. Just relax. This is what I was talking about, guys. She's bad. Yeah. They like to go nuts. We'll give her a second to calm down. But it was my fault. I mean, if I... Oh! Oh, shoot. be careful. Almost got me. While well, I was talking to you guys. But... If I had shortened the net earlier, it would have given me the ability to control it, and then she wouldn't have gotten so stressed. Okay, here we go. This is scary part. Okay, I'm give her a second. Let me give her more water. I think I took too much out. Oh my goodness. Come on, girl. Take it easy. If not, I need to use a bigger container. You're gonna have to, baby. It's really scared. It's really scared. Oh. Okay, move out of my way. Oh. Ooh, look at how what? nice that is. Come closer. It's, that is nice. It's nice, but wash your arm. I know. That's why I always keep my hands on the outside. Look at the tail so long. Yep. Okay. Off you go. Oh my goodness. Go ahead. You're free. There we go. Nothing can ever be easy, right? You saw it. They go right in, and then I lost them, and then they go right in, and I lost them. It just end up stressing them. All right, so we're done on this tank. Let me clean up, and then we'll go get the fish from over there and bring it to this tank, all right? We'll be right back. Now that those bigger guys are in this tank, um, I'm putting them into a breeding situation now. I had the male separated. The male was on top, and the females are on the bottom. Now that it's in here, I had two other females that were growing out in here as well. So now this whole tank is gonna be a, um, um, a breeding program for these golden albinos. So I'm sure real soon we'll be getting some golden albino babies. Um, I already have another tank that's breeding them, but now we will have more. All right.